Hi, my name is Chin from Zebra Technologies. Today, I come to show you how you can customize the outlook of Enterprise Home Screen. So you have two devices on the screen. The left hand side is the and the default Enterprise Home Screen settings, where the right hand side here you have the customized uh, Enterprise Home Screen settings. We can see you can see that the wallpaper has changed. And the title bar here, we have the zebra icon logo on the top left and display the serial number on the top title bar as well. And if you notice that the, the application naming has been changed, but they are the same application. So by default, the, this is DW demo or Dialogue demo, and I changed it to a scan demo. And I added a couple of uh, sub menu here on the tools. So this is the also the uh, you can use this shortcut to call up the application instead of the, have the icon on the main screen. And also I'm going to show you how you can enable the default keyboard by using the enterprise keyboard instead of uh, Google, Google keyboard. So let's have a look at the uh, settings. So this is the enterprise home screen XML, which is the uh, settings file for enterprise home screen. So as you can see, that I changed the uh, the default uh, DW demo to uh, scan demo, and also I added the uh, menu under tools. So I added three sub menu here. So the first one is uh, stage now. So you need to put in the full package name here for stage now, and the same for worry free Wi-Fi and Ax logger. Also, there's the auto launch feature that you can uh, you can enable on the enterprise home screen. So whenever the device uh, start up the enterprise home screen, it will launch the application automatically. So what I do here is um, I have the the application uh, the application launch for data uh, demo. So this is the wallpaper path that you need to uh, put in. So you have to you need to have your wallpaper put in under this uh, particular location. So with this XML settings, it will uh, uh, look for this particular uh, image to apply the wallpaper on the device. For title bar, as I uh, mentioned before, there's a serial number display on the top. So there's an option you can have the serial number, IP address, Bluetooth MAC address or device name to be displayed on the, on the top. And also I added the, uh, the Zebra icon on the top left as well. So this is the path to refer to the image of the Zebra icon. Now let's look at the uh, settings. How do we apply these settings to the device? So what I put, what I done is uh, I have all the uh, image file and the XML configuration file, put it on the FTP server. So I get stage now to, to, uh, to generate the, the barcode and the device will grab the file from the FTP server. So this is what I've done. I have the device to look for this particular FTP server to grab the file from. And once it's downloaded the file, you need to put it into this location on the device. So this is the, uh, the wallpaper um, image file. So next thing is uh, to download the, the Zebra icon. So put in the same location. So next is download the uh, XML setting, which we, we modified before. Um, so for X, for the enterprise home screen XML, you need to put in under enterprise slash user folder. So um, the enterprise home screen, we only recognize the file from this particular folder. So make sure that you put in this folder. Otherwise, the setting will not apply. So next is to enable the um, enterprise keyboard as a default uh, input keyboard. So what I do here is um, I put in this detail, user defined input method, and I put in the enterprise uh, keyboard a package name and a class name here. So 
So the last step is to uh, to perform a reboot. So once everything is downloaded, uh, the the configuration is uh, applied to the settings. I perform a reboot. So you can see that uh, once you reboot, it will come back with the uh, auto launch with Dataverse demo. So let's complete this profile, create a barcode. Should be able to see it from here. So let's uh, get the device to scan this barcode. So let's run stage now. Just that one here. Scan the barcode. And you can see the device is staging. You grab the file from my FTP server and then restart the last step once it's done. And the device is rebooting now. So once you reboot, it will come back with the new settings and start up with the Dataverge demo. So the device back up now. So let's see. So you can see that the device start up with the Dynavage demo, which is auto launch. I didn't touch anything. And if you look at the uh, icon now, it's identical to the device on the right. And the display the serial number and have the new wording on the application. And also we get the, uh, should get the new sub menu here. And for the default keyboard, now we start up with the um, enterprise keyboard instead of a Google keyboard. Well, I hope it gives you some insight on how easy it is to configure enterprise home screen. It is available for download at our support portal at zebra.com. Thank you for watching.